A bag of caramel candies has a total mass of 180 grams. We have grams here, 180, excluding the mass of the bag. So we're just talking about the mass of the candies itself. Each candy has a mass of 6 grams. As a candy is taken out of the bag and eaten, the mass of the remaining candies is plotted versus how many candies are left in a bag. So we have candies and we have the grams. Determine the range for this relation. Range means the possible y values. Now we're talking about 180 grams worth of candy and each candy being six grams. We can actually calculate how many candies we're talking about if we divide. 180 grams divided by six is gonna be 30. So we know there's 30 candies at a maximum and zero candies at a minimum. So when there's 30 candies, we're gonna have a total of 180 grams. So definitely this point exists. However, as we take away candies, uh, we're gonna be losing six grams at a time and the grammage will decrease until finally we have no candies, zero candies, where the total grammage is gonna be zero. Now what's interesting here is that these are bags. There's 30 total different bags. So in the middle would be 15 bags. And then we'd have every third, we'd have five bags, 10 bags. We'd have 20 bags, 25 bags, etc. So the idea here is every five bags or so, we're gonna have another dot. We're gonna be losing a certain amount. In fact, there's each one of these um, sections can be subdivided further to, let's use a different color here. So 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So we'd have another bag here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So we'd have four red dots in between each one of these. Two, three, four. So each of these dots, whether it be black or red, represents a bag, the number of bags. So as we go from 30 bags to 29 bags, we're gonna lose six grams. And then that's gonna be six grams subtracted away from 180. 180 minus six is gonna be 174 grams, and it's gonna keep subtracting six grams. So this graph here is a series of different dots. I made this gray line very faint because some graphs are solid and some graphs are simply dotted. So we have a linear relationship between grams and candies. And in terms of the range, we're interested in the possible y values. We're interested in the range from here all the way to here, the, all the possible y values. So it's gonna be only, the y values only exist for these dots. So we're only interested in the actual uh, distinct numbers, not the actual decimal numbers, but here we have the, the y value of zero, we have the y value of six, 12, all the way up to 180. So choice B would be the correct answer. The key understanding here is that as we take away candy from the bag, we don't have half candies. Inside the bag are all full candies. So every time we actually take away a candy, we're jumping a step. So that's why we only have these distinct numbers with commas separating them.